Good morning everybody. Um, today I would like to show you how to connect the Infini Solar three-phase inverter to a pylon tech battery. Um, now obviously this battery is way too small for this inverter. Um, keep in mind I'm only using this battery as a method to show how to establish BMS communication from the inverter to the battery. So if you come to the bottom of the inverter you will find all of the communication ports. Um, you have your RS-232 which is for your PC as well as your USB, your dry contacts and then your parallel connection when you connect more than one inverter. Um, there is no BMS port on this however you do have this intelligent slot. So referring to that uh, intelligent slot, you need to actually get your hands on one of these Modbus cards, um, which will then obviously slot in there, providing you with your RS-485 protocol will then assist you in communicating with the battery's RS-485. So generally when you remove the Modbus card from the packaging, your um, tip switches you have on this card should be set correctly for the setup already however um, let's just cover it for argument's sake um, this is your switch number two as you can see it's labeled on the PC board and this switch is switch number one so switch number one <coughs> only your first dip is in the on position and coming around to switch number two, dip number one is in the off position, two and three is in the on position, dip number four off, and then five, six, seven, as well as eight is in the on position. Okay, so for the dip on the battery, the very first dip needs to be in the on position, dip number two, three, and four will be in the off position. Note that this is your dip setting for the master battery. As soon as you add on multiple uh, batteries, your slave batteries, two, three, and four, and so forth, all dips needs to be in the off position. It's only the master battery that's set to one, zero, zero, zero. So now that the dips is set, properly um, you will unfortunately not see clearly in this card slot but there is grooves that you need to slot this card into um, once it's groove is set in those grooves you can just push it all the way in and obviously insert your screws as well so for the BMS cable the networking cable between the inverter and the battery um, I've crimped the yellow one as the inverter side and then the green one as the battery side um, now inverter side pin number four will go to battery side pin number eight and then inverter side pin number five will go to battery side pin number seven okay so as mentioned the yellow plug I've crimped for the inverter shall I say the Modbus card you can use in either one of these two network ports it does not matter which one you use connecting the inverter plug to the invert Modbus card and then the battery on the RS-485 port okay so in this case I'm only using one battery which is my master um, just keep in mind should you connect more batteries um, in parallel with this one you do need to establish communication between them as well um, now note you have a link port 0 and link port number 1 um, you will have your incoming networking cable from the inverter to your RS-485 port then from link port number 1 you will jump to the next battery to link port 0 
and so forth. So it will go link port 1 to 0, 1 to 0, 1 to 0. Okay, everything is currently off. Note that you can only make these uh, dip settings uh, while the battery is in the off position. Um, it will not make any take any effect if you change these dip settings while the battery is on. You have to have the battery off. Um, so before we switch on, dip settings is set correctly. The DC cables is connected, Modbus card is inserted and the cable is connected. Um, we can switch on. Note for this setup, I do not have AC connected. Um, this is purely a setup to establish BMS communication to the inverter. Switching on the battery. Okay. The inverter did not yet come on. Long press of the on button. I believe you cannot see the display. Now the inverter generally takes some time to kick in. It will firstly establish um, the environment it's in, measuring um, all incoming power before it will kick in. They just switched on now and you can see the arrow pointing from the battery towards the, bat the light icon for your output. At the moment, communication to the lithium ion battery is not yet established. Let's just give it some time to connect. Okay, I believe this will be better for you to see. While the LCD display is backlight is off, you can see the battery icon is on. And currently, you can see li bat that is your bms communication that's established so safe to say the communication is up and running and well